Hello everybody, welcome to Matthew's Life channel. Today I am going to talk about fractions 1 chapter 4. First I would like to remind you something important about fraction. Let's remember, we use the fractions to represent any part of a whole. Like a whole apple, a whole pizza, a whole chocolate. Everybody, a fraction has three parts which are numerator, denominator and fraction bar. Let's see. This shape is divided into four equal parts. For that it shows you denominator. Denominator is the equal parts in a whole. Three is the chosen part. We call numerator. Numerator means shows the chosen parts in a whole. Everybody in this section we are going to talk about converting a mixed number to an improper fraction. We have a rule. The rule is first you multiply numerate you multiply denominator by whole and add the numerator then you have to keep the denominator same let's see example the example is convert the mixed number 1 and 5 over 7 as an improper fraction first of all we are going to write mixed number 1 and 5 over 7 how can we convert it we look at the rule multiply denominator by whole everybody let's multiply denominator by whole 7 times 1 is equal to 7 plus numerator which is 12 then we keep the denominator same which is 7 the answer is 12 over 7 let's see another example convert 2 and 3 over 5 as an improper fraction first of all let's write the improper fraction which is 2 and 3 over 5 then we are gonna multiply denominator by whole which is 10 then we add by numerator 13 13 over 5 let's see 13 over 5 now let's talk about converting an improper fraction to a mixed number we have a rule the rule is first you divide numerator by denominator then after dividing quotient will be whole part remainder will be numerator and divisor will be denominator the third rule you write the result as a mixed number. Let's see an example to understand well. Example is convert to improper fraction 13 over 8 to a mixed number. Let's write. First of all, we are going to divide numerator by denominator like that. So you know how can we use long division? How many 8s we have in 13? 1. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Then let's subtract. 13 minus 8 is equal to 5. Now it's easy to write a mixed number. Quotient will be whole part here and remainder will be numerator here and divisor will be denominator as you can see. Another example convert 8 over 5 as a mixed number. First of all we have to divide numerator by denominator. Everybody we use the long division. How many 5's we have in 8? 1. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Then let's subtract. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. Now it's easy to write as a mixed number. Everybody first, you know, quotient will be whole number. And remainder will be numerator. And divisor will be denominator. Let's see the answer. Which is 1 and 3 over 5. That's it everybody. Thanks for watching and listening. See you next lesson.